Welcome to God's Own TV. Almighty God, we grant your request. How that the Jew made us cut our cane with cutlass, Pastor Leke. Pastor Leke Adeboye, who is the last son of the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, shared one of the funniest and most intense experiences he had with his siblings while growing up. In an interview session he conducted on his popular podcast titled Confession Box with PLA with J. Mikey, recalled how his older siblings and himself were disciplined by his parent, Daddy Jew and Mommy Jew, as they are fondly called. According to him, his mother, Mrs. Fulua Deboye, at one time, when their father was away at the mission field, asked him and his siblings to wash their clothes. But due to the fact that the person they feared the most was not around most of the time, they reluctantly obeyed the instruction of their mother, which led to a rare punishment they could never forget. In his words, he said, There was a day Mommy Jew said we should wash our clothes. We soaked that cloth for almost seven days. In fact, by the time we went to look at it, the dirt already lifted up and it was just like, just rinse me. You don't even have to do anything again. Just rinse me. So you know, because they travel a lot, that the Jew is always on a mission because at some point, we only saw him three times a year and he will always take the measurement of our feet on the newspaper and cut it and take it along to buy us shoes, school shoes or anything like that. And then he was now coming back. Mommy Gio was now quiet. She's no longer telling us to go wash our clothes. Immediately he arrived and he went to the room after we greeted him and he prayed. I knew he was coming for us. Because of the way he slammed the door, the man of God was still trying to detox and then Mommy Gio loaded him with all the, this is what they didn't do. We ran to the clothes. He wasn't even going to hear it. When he came out, he came out with a cutlass. I was like, ah, ah, I mean, you've beaten us with a hanger, you've beaten us with a beard. Which one is cutlass now? What's this from Abraham and Isaac's situation? I can't see any ram around here. What's going on? But apparently, he came to give us, myself and Dari, that we should go and cut our own cane. And I mean, we were living in a jungle, so you might as well bring a tree down safe and all that stuff. But yeah, you know they say that spare the rod and spoil the child. He was going to give us three each that day, but depending on the quality of the cane you brought. So me, I just cut something flimsy. I ended up with 27 that day. I've learned now. Just cut a proper decent size. Take your three and go. My brother took cut one big one. I was like, ah, what's your problem? Do you want to kill yourself? I didn't know that it was wisdom that he was using. Joshua McBam Loye, who was a guest on the show, noted that while serving like punishment was a norm while growing up, he could not recall any intense moment like Pastor Leke described. 